Yes, learners, hope you understood how to use subject pronouns. Now today we are talking about object pronouns. And these are pronouns that replace objects. The object pronouns come after the subject. They show one who suffers the action. And these are the pronouns that we have. We talked about the first person pronouns. We have the subject pronoun and the object. So this shows how it becomes an object. I is the first person pronoun. It be changes to me when it becomes an object. Second person pronoun we have you. You remains you. Then third person we have he. He becomes him. She becomes her. And it becomes it. Still it remains it. So you and it remain the same. They don't change. Then we have the plural form. We say the other time I is we. So, we changes to us when it becomes an object. And you remains you. They becomes them. So, we are going to see this in sentence construction. Our first example says, the actress gave me a book. If we don't want to use this actress, this is the subject. We can say she gave me a book. So she is the subject. And here we are looking for the object. We say the object comes after the subject. So she gave me. Me is the object. She gave me a book. So we have... We have shown you the subject and the object. Then our second example we have, the journalist has invited the pupils to her wedding. So if we don't want to use the word journalist, since the word is shown us that it is a woman, her, we can use the pronoun she. She is the subject, has invited the pupils we are going to change this one. We don't want to use them, so their pronoun becomes them. To her wedding. She has invited them to her wedding. So the journalist is she. The pupils is them. So here the subject is she and the object is them. Okay? Then here now we have, I fed it yesterday. The subject is I and the object is it. He beats him whenever he goes wrong. So he is the subject and him is the object. Then this he again is a subject. So learners, I want you to try out these numbers. You underline or you show the object pronouns. Number one, Mary invited him to her birthday party. So you can tell the object pronoun, you underline it. They will call her in the morning. Show the object pronoun there. You will tell them the importance of washing hands. You can also underline the object pronoun. She will take you to the bus park. Number five, she has told us an interesting story. So there, in those five sentences, you just underline the object pronoun. Then here, another activity says complete the sentences 
with the correct form of the word in brackets. Number six. Omondi beat Dash badly yesterday. In brackets, we have he. So I think you are able to answer that. So here you are putting the object pronoun. The tourist guide has taken Dash around the lake. In brackets, we have we. So you give the answer in object. You change we to object pronoun. The teacher will blame Dash for not completing the assignment. In brackets, we have your. Change your to object pronoun. John lent a book to Dash. In brackets, we have she. The stationer sold Dash some stationery. In brackets, we have they. Number 11, she gave Dash bonds yesterday. In brackets, it's. I believe you are able to answer those questions very well. And we expect your responses on Edmodan. We shall mark them. Thank you.